Ultimately, a view group is the best way to hide channels that we don't need to see. So let's start with view. Right now we're viewing all. We have all selected. And that means we get to see all the channels. If I click the bank button to the right, I get 17 to 32. Now let's look at Rick's view. In fact, let's select his mix so we see the levels in his mix. And you can see right there, key left, key right, Rick, Lacey, and Danny. Those are the one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five channels that he has in his mix. So let's see what he sees on his iPad. Okay? What he sees on his iPad is key right, Rick, Lacey, Danny, and Billy. He is not looking at key left, which is actually a keyboard that plays brass parts. Let's add that to his view group. So we're going to hit assign and hold it down. We're going to hit Rick's mix. We're going to add to his view group key left by simply tapping that. And then we're going to click the assign button and we're done. Now when we go to Rick's view, we see that he has key left, key right, Rick, Lacey, Danny, and Billy. Very good. Let's look at Lacey's mix and her view group. So I'm going to select Lacey's mix, and we can see that the only thing turned up is her voice. Let's look at what she would have on her iPad. She has just the four voices, Rick, Lacey, Danny, and Billy, but she's only got hers turned up. That's all she's interested in. Okay. Let's move on to Danny's mix. Let's select his mix and then select what he sees on his iPad. That's the view group. If we want to look at what is on Danny's iPad, well, there it is. Guitar, sax, two keys, and the four vocals. Let's move on to the drums. Let's select the drums mix and let's hit the drums view group. So these are the channels that the drummer likes to control on his iPad. Kick, floor, bass, guitar, sax, two keys, and four vocals. Let's look at saxophone. Again, we're going to select the sax over there. Now let's look at the view group for the sax player. He likes to hear the snare drum, of course his sax, two keys, and vocals. Now, the most important one, and that's mine, <laughs> that's front of house, F. So let's click our view and let's click our mix. And look, we have nothing turned up. That's because we haven't even started the show yet, but we're about to. All the information that I just described about the view groups works exactly the same way with the mute groups. There's the mute groups. Clicking none means that we're not using any of the mute groups. If I click all, by George, that better mean everything. All the inputs are assigned to that. I don't bother with muting the outputs, but you could assign those to the mute all as well. So let's unmute all, and let's hit the break mute. When the band goes on break, very quickly I hit that. What that does is it mutes everything in the band except what I want. And what I want unmuted is Danny's mic, which you can see right there is unmuted. If we hit the page button to look at the other channels, you can also see that the iPad channel is not muted and neither is the reverb, both reverbs and the delay. So that's the break mute. I like it. You can set these up however you want. You name them. Mackie was so kind to include a tap tempo on the console. It's accessible all the time. Hey, 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 hey. This next part is going to be really fun. It's all about the smart bridge. 